Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound sodium oxalate. So let's work from left to right. The first thing I see is sodium. I'm going to scan the periodic table to find where sodium is. And sodium is right over here, right? It's in group one. It's represented by Na. And all elements in group one are metals except for hydrogen, but they all have this charge of being a plus one. They want to lose one electron. So I'm going to say Na and then plus one. The next part is oxalate. I see that it's an ATE ending. And remember guys, all ATE endings are polyatomic ions, but polyatomic ions are never on the periodic table. That's what makes them challenging. So you have to memorize them. So I put down what oxalate is down over here, but just use flashcards, write it down, do whatever you gotta do to memorize that oxalate is C2O4 with a negative two charge. Okay. Now we have both components and both charges. So all we do is this little trick where we crisscross the charges to just say how many of each component I need. So in this case, this plus one crisscrosses down to the oxalate, telling me that I only need one oxalate. And then this negative two crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two of the sodiums. When you do your crisscrossing, don't worry about the charges. So you could basically kind of like scratch them out and then just look at these numbers. So let's see, we have Na. They're telling me that I have two of them. So I put a two here. And now since I only have one of the polyatomic, I don't have to use parentheses. So I'm just gonna keep going with it. I'm gonna say C2O4. And since there's only one, I don't even have to write the one. Okay, and I'm done. So sodium oxalate is Na2, C2O4. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. I'm rooting for you guys. You guys rock. And I'll see you in later lessons. All right. Bye-bye.